Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. Today, we're going to be talking about crypto and taxes. The two things don't even match, but somehow we have to deal with it because that's just the facts of life. So stay with me on this one, guys. All right, before I begin, I'm going to tell a little quick story. So usually when people go to the gym, they listen to music and they listen to like really hardcore music. to start working out and getting a sweat on and doing this and that. But for me, it's a little different. When I go to the gym, I'm listening to inspirational videos. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks, nothing. I'm listening to accountants, I'm listening to finance videos. I was very risk averse in, in running the company I always made sure we had enough money in the bank. I'm listening to audiobooks on how to invest in stocks and how to grow my retirement money. I know it's a little strange and I don't know how I even get motivated, but when I hear the thought of more money in my bank account or my retirement and my savings account, I get really pumped up. I would hope that you guys feel the same way about that. Today, I'm going to be talking about taxes and how we can avoid or how we can make sure we take care of ourselves and not just throw in all this money into crypto, getting some returns or losing money, how we can benefit from some of the, I guess, quote unquote, loopholes that exist, or maybe we shouldn't call it loopholes because that sounds too much of a bad term. But anyway, what I really wanted to show you guys is this video that I was watching. I wasn't even watching. It was like a whole hour long and I was just listening to it as I was working out. The channel name itself is called kind of happened to just stumble upon them and I became a subscriber. The channel name is Mark J. Kohler. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. They do have other accountant suggestions and recommendations on how to approach certain things of course each state has their own laws and regulations what i'm telling you is not you know my financial advice to you this is obviously you can do your own research but one thing i've noticed with these two guys and i've only watched a handful of videos so far because i just kind of stumbled upon their channel now recently they have about 270,000 subscribers so you know there's some reputation there the fact is that they don't have this disclaimer about you know this is only financial advice don't take our you know suggestions blah blah, blah. what they actually do differently is go all in at it and tell you exactly how it should be done or some of the questions you should be asking your accountant some of the things that you should be understanding as a taxpayer so one part as i was watching this entire video all the way up to like the 43rd minute of it and i'm going to show you guys right now they're talking about crypto and i found it really interesting so i actually made a comment on this particular video and I put a time a time stamp exactly to this location of 43 minutes and two seconds because this is the very last segment that he was actually talking about crypto. And I found this to be really interesting and it was really relatable. And I'm sure it will relate to all of you guys who are watching this right now because I'm sure you guys all have the same concern. Now let's listen in. Had gains in trading crypto throughout the year you might be freaking out going, I've got this huge capital gain. What am I going to do? Well, if you had gains with stock, let's say in years past, you'd say, oh, I've got this loser stock over here. I'll sell it, take a loss and then rebuy it because I know it's going to go back up. So I'm just going to kind of churn it. I'm going to sell it, buy it and I'll manufacture a loss even and end up with the same stock on day two. Well, the IRS shut that down years ago because yeah. Wall Street tried to, you know, do that all the time as a year-end strategy. <clears throat> but that was called a wash sale. I mean, in the end, it just washed out. You had the same stock at the end of the day and you manufactured this loss. Well, the IRS does not allow you to take a loss from a wash sale and purchase reback. But that does not apply to crypto until maybe the passage of this new law. So you have maybe the last chance to take advantage of this. So crypto has been down you know, the last couple of weeks, we get it. We know we're all expecting some good things in the future. We know it will, 10, 10 year historical growth. We know it, we're not going away. Crypto's not going away. So you might want to sell some of your losers and just rebuy it. Just yeah. manufacture a loss. <clears throat> and you can do that, right, Matt? Have you heard of this? Yeah, I mean, this is a genius idea. 
Thank you. Um, let me get, let me put, let me just give an example. Let's say you bought Bitcoin at 60,000 per Bitcoin, you know, two months ago, six weeks ago. And then now you sell it at 45,000 per Bitcoin. Well, that's a $15,000 loss I can lock in. And I could go rebuy the Bitcoin the next day at 45,000 because I believe in it that it's going to go up. But I was able to lock in the loss now that I can take against maybe some of my trades earlier in the year I had gains on. And so, but I, it's just a little gymnastics you did to get a lock in a $15,000 loss that can help you now. And some of you may have thought, I sit in front of a computer all day and I can't do gymnastics. I would pull. Mm -hmm. very critical muscle of some sort, but no, you can do gymnastics yeah. with the wash sale. So mm. very, very important. All right, guys. So you heard that now these, these two guys, I mean, you could dig deeper into their background on what profession they are, what certifications they have, but I found that to be really interesting. The wash sale was something that the stock market and people who were doing day trading or just trading in general were doing for the longest time. At the end of the year, they were trying to produce write-offs for expenses or losses, meaning if they bought a stock at a really high price and they actually lost money throughout the year, they would just sell it, recoup, like take that as a loss, right? And then just buy it right back into the same position as if nothing happened. But the government just didn't know and of, of course it eventually caught on and they were just trying to eliminate all that which they have but now they're saying that it hasn't applied to crypto so like his example if you bought bitcoin at sixty thousand and it's down forty thousand now liquidate it sell it as a, use it as as a loss and then buy right back into the position that means you didn't really exit out you just kind of you took it as a loss so you can expense it because you could claim it and write that off and i found that just to be the you know a, a strategy right so that is a definitely uh currently a loophole and i'm sure the government eventually will catch on to that as well and say no more you can't do that anymore but you know these are the types of tips and things that are going on that i think regular people like you and i who are paying taxes on these things should know right i mean that's a it's a tactic or you can call it a scam whatever you want to call it if any way you can pay less taxes because as if we're not paying enough taxes already that's something to consider if as especially if you are a high roller in putting money into crypto and the market went down and your you know your vested income in that whatever you have vested into that crypto is significantly down i would take that option because every little dollar as an expense counts because then you'll be paying less taxes so it does make a huge difference and i think that's very crucial in our crypto world especially now that you know everyone is jumping into all these different uh crypto mining especially ethereum i have raptorium i have chia so whatever i gain or whatever money i lose or even just from the stuff that i actually buy like shiba doge and all the other stuff i have lost money i'm gonna admit i have lost money in the past but you know i have to educate myself and what i want to bring to you guys on this channel is value that you guys I can help you along the way as far as education, educating you. But of course, you know, there's a lot of parts of it that you have to deal with it yourself because you could be a different state, you have a different circumstance, or you have different kind of, you know, just uh, or factors into how you could change it to your own taxes. So that's the main point of this video I wanted to bring and share with you that you know these things are very uh, important to look at as well not just how to mine certain coins but taxes please guys remember to hit that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys again really soon bye